Welcome to One Up Me, episode 40. We're going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts. Enjoy the show. When you walk away. Oh my gosh, it feels... Okay, so I was going to like do a little ditty, but I just... I've already screwed it up like three times, and I'm going to be honest, my heart's not into it. Uh, welcome to What Up Me, episode 40. My name is Ryan, and I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Jordan Sims. Today's episode is on Kingdom Farts. There you go. Good job. As my monitor flickers and decides to turn itself off, but luckily I've memorized what I've been playing this week. So, yeah. You're trying to show off what? now. No. I just have not played that many games this week, unlike you that has all the letters in the alphabet and what you've been playing. <laughs> I got but all these uh, acronyms. Dang, acronyms. Thank you. I was going to go blank on what that that word was. It's okay. It's going to be an interesting episode. But I have been playing Shadow of the Colossus, which I picked up for PS4 uh, digitally. It's I hmm, How do I describe this game? It's a puzzle action adventure game that I only played five minutes of during the PS2 beta that came on a disc of another game that I bought that I can't remember what it was, but I've always wanted to play it because I never could play it as a kid, and then I finally picked it up because it was on sale. This game is amazing. Yes, the horse controls are terrible. The uh, camera kind of made me feel like I was going to throw up sometimes, but if you can get past those two things, it's a phenomenal game. (laughs) Sounds horrible. It's actually pretty good. Like the boss, there's like a bunch of boss battles you got to go through. It's a really cool experience. Like I really did enjoy. It. Yeah, I know it but, is. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, you got to climb on top of these big old colossi. Yeah. And stab them on the top of their heads. That's right. And it's or like a places. really atmospheric. Uh, you know, you, you got to save your your lover, or girlfriend, or whatever, or your sister, or your mother, or whatever, and yeah. Then you, uh, but apparently the controls are really bad. Apparently they were atrociously bad on the on the PS2, and they they've actually gotten better. Apparently, correct. Yes, even though the horse, I will always compare horse controls <laughs> to Red Dead Redemption Two now out of, out of any game I play, but these horse controls it feels like I was tr- I was trying to like control the horse with a feather that I stuck inside of jelly. Like, it, it just wouldn't work, man. Like, it was a bad experience. Uh, but moving on from that, I played Overwatch. Trying, I got two matches. Or I, have, I have two more matches to do uh, to get that Ana skin. So, okay, I saved one seven. Correct, yeah. So And that's been, that's been a pretty fun experience, you know? It's people acting crazy on voice chat. And, Overwatch is yeah. such an up-and-down experience, man. It really is, uh... That's yeah, it somebody. Is. I think it was Seagull said. Uh, it's like oh, it just got like the highest highs and the lowest lows. Yeah, you know, I, I got the Anna skin. Uh, also, nice. I also, uh, I don't say also because you haven't gotten it yet. But yeah, I got my Anna skin. Uh, well, congratulations. Recently, uh, thank you. It is a so cool skin. I also picked up. We talked about this on one of my news that you're listening to, hopefully soon, um, or today, I guess. And I got. What became of Edith Finch? And it's actually a really interesting game. I've never played a game that tells a story the way this game does, and I can't even describe how this game tells a story without spoiling like a, anything. Is it like a walking simulator, kind of? It's like a walking simulator that has a light novel put like combined with it. It's like a really good PB&J sandwich. So it's, it's actually a really cool experience. It's only about two hours worth of gameplay. Uh, but it's it's a really cool story, and I actually did enjoy it. <laughs> did you after beat you it? The, I did. Yeah, it's only two oh, hours. It's what? Uh, it's only two hours oh, wow, for okay. the whole game. Um, and so <laughs> it's funny after you play it, it's like, hey, do you want to play again? It's like, no, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> it's like, no, thank you. Uh, so it has this. You can go back and replay certain parts. Yeah, of the game. this is free on Epic Store. That's right. It is. Yeah, that's why I picked it up. It's a twenty dollar game, like normally. And I don't think it's worth twenty dollars, but you know it's free right now. So check it out if you want to play a. It was about a girl and her family, and that's all I'll say about it. And it's really interesting the way it tells the story, and I really like how it decided to unfold this story. And then the last game I've been playing is Fortnite, and I wanted <coughs> to try the cre- best game on the planet. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to try the creative mode 
what I got on there, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. Like, it was like, set your rift, and I was like, okay, sure, this snow place. And then I tried joining other people's creative modes, and that didn't work. And so I was like, eh, whatever. So I just couldn't figure it out. So I uh, tried, I just went and played some solos, and did not do very well. But was it so eh. did you enjoy not doing very well or it was it was fun. Like I got this uh this eight this four wheeler and rode it out of the side of this house and that was kinda cool. And then uh Do you uh found... do you do a floss? Do you do a floss? No, I actually crossing? have no clue how to, I don't know how to spray or do dances or do any of that in Fortnite at all. Uh, I have no clue how to do any of that. I just try to replicate the stuff I see Ninja do and then get utterly disappointed in my gameplay experience because I am not Ninja. So, yeah, that's really it. What what you been playing? Uh, let's see. I, oh my gosh, I did my uh, week, or not weekly, because I took like a three-week break from Overwatch. But, yeah, like I said, I did play some Overwatch and got that Anna skin and, and uh, this, I don't, no, there's not a spray, there's a, um... What you call it? An icon. A vic- victory pose too. And a victory. Oh, there's a victory pose. Yeah. Yeah, there is. There is. I got that too. Yeah. Um, Neolene or whatever. The game is so up and down. I don't know. I may just. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna quit playing it, but I probably should for my uh, mental health. Um, I also played a little bit of Black Ops Four, um, and Rainbow Six Siege. Those are they're less irritating than Overwatch. I'll say that, but. Yeah, they are. Um, Black Ops Four. I was in the middle of a. Um, game and the like the uh, the app or whatever you want to call it crashed so that was fun. Uh, I played Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and I so I, I tweeted about this um um but I I realized uh, when I looked at after I looked at it I actually made a mistake um I spelled anyway it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so I was playing and I won the game right. Mm-hmm. After I won the game, it said connection lost. Um, well, that's stupid. So I was like, okay, I get, I, I, I guess I won the game. And then after I won the game, I was like, let me go play another one. And it said you you can't play for thirty minutes because you disconnected. What? I was like, oh my gosh. What? Nintendo. I Fix I your- won. I clearly didn't do this on purpose. Wow, that's that's really stupid. I've just kind of I need to get back into Super Smash Brothers because it's an amazing game, but I hate the Wi-Fi, not the Wi-Fi, the online man. Like I just I just can't play with people. It will not let me. I need to go like to a Starbucks and be like, I'm gonna use y'all's Wi-Fi to play Super Smash Brothers, and maybe it'll work on Starbucks Wi-Fi, but it does not work on my Wi-Fi, which is very annoying for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad, honestly. Um, let's see. Also. Uh, I played a little bit of Birth by Sleep, a little more of that. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it. I'm, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. I'm kind of like, uh, I kind of just wanna, you know, watch a, a video online about it. Just watch the cutscenes. That's all you gotta do for that game, man. That's what I did. Uh, I, I, I played, uh, I, I played Dead Cells a little bit before, but I picked it up actually last night. Played it for a couple hours. That's a really, really good game. Um, definitely gonna continue to play that. Um, maybe I'll go back to the messenger eventually because, oh my gosh, I feel like I should have beat that game forever ago. Uh, I also started Uncharted 2, uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, really enjoying it. I'm about, I think I'm about a quarter of the way through. I'll probably have that beat by the end of this week. Um, but nice. I think that's about it. Cool. Well, let's, uh, let's move into this topic of Kingdom Fart. I mean, Hearts. Sorry, Kingdom Hearts. And, uh, yeah, so we, we're just, we're definitely not going to go over the story. No, there's oh my no gosh, way, no. no way in uh, in darkness that we're gonna we're not gonna do this story. There's no way, never gonna do that. I don't know the but, story. <laughs> I could not explain this story to someone, even if I was getting paid. Like I, I couldn't do it. Uh, but I I think the easiest way to do is just kind of talk about what games we've played and then kind of just go from there. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so my first experience with Kingdom Hearts is I saw the like I saw a commercial for it and I was like, okay, I need this game. And this is back when we had blockbuster videos. And if you don't know what those are, it's where you could go in and you could rent DVDs or video games. So my older brother, like you know, who got to leave the house and stuff because he had a car and was older than me, I was like, hey, get me this game. And he's like, okay, cool. 
So I was like, sweet. He's How much older is your brother birth. than you? I don't know. Well, it's I guess like, you wouldn't have to. I'm trying to think. When did Kingdom Hearts come out? Uh, <laughs> Wait, did you say I don't know when, when I said... How much older, is, how much older is your brother than you? Yes, I think he's like forty. <laughs> I honestly don't know, man. I, th- I uh. think he was. I want to say he came out in like two thousand and two or the latest. No, no, I don't know. Th- it might have. I don't know. Hold on. I th- it had to. I honestly don't remember when it came out. Kingdom Hearts. It came out in two thousand and two. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Crap. Yeah. So okay. yeah, he got he came back from Blockbuster. He's like, Stupid here's this pop game. Filter. What? My pop, oh, I'm, pop filter. I'm about to buy a new pop filter like while the podcast is going on. This is driving me insane. Okay, well you can you can do that. Uh, I'll send you a link to the one I have. It just goes over the top of the the black part of the microphone. Oh, that's so. not. Is that a? I don't know if I call that a pop filter. Is that a pop filter? Yeah, it's a pop. It's just a different type of pop filter. It just covers the top of the microphone like a sock. You could also use a sock. I've seen people do that. It looks pretty ghetto, but it works. Anyway, <laughs> so my brother comes back from Blockbuster, and he was like, hey, I got you this game. I'm like, sweet. You know, I'm expecting to play Kingdom Hearts. I'm super hyped for it. It's not Kingdom Hearts. It's Sly Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's why, you don't, that's why you didn't like Sly Cooper. And I still don't like Sly Cooper, man, because I was hyped for this game. I was so hyped. And I was like, and you know, so I was like, okay. Like, I was like, I'm not playing this. And he's like, well, I rented it, man. You got it for like, I don't know, seven days or however long they rented stuff back then. I honestly can't remember. I, I don't like, think fine. you rented stuff for seven days. I, I honestly don't remember how long I you could rent stuff for from Blockbuster. But a certain a certain I, amounts per night or something, I think. And you, exactly. There's like a $50,000 so, late fee or something. Yeah. So, you know, I went in, popped it in my PS2, and I was like, I played it for like 30 minutes, and I was like, this sucks. Like, <laughs> so I took it out, brought it to him. I was like, yeah, I'm not playing this, man. You got to take it back get your money back so he, i think he took it back like either that same night or that next day and i was like so uh you don't have kingdom hearts like what, what was the deal man like why didn't you get me this game he's like oh yeah they didn't have it and i was like what and so i just like i ended up like making somebody take me to the store in like i think like walmart or gamestop or something and buy it because for some reason I, I don't know why I didn't just buy it outright. I guess I wanted to rent it to see if I liked it, but I just ended up buying it outright anyway. And that's why I ended up getting uh, like they make blackout curtains because like the first the first little bit of Kingdom Hearts is super dark. And if you you know back in the day TVs didn't they weren't great, so you know if you had sunshine reflecting onto your TV, you couldn't see like the dark dark. So I was like, Mom, I need new curtains, man. Like, I can't be playing this game and not see what's going on. Like, and so that's why I got blackout curtains. <laughs> and so, like, Kingdom Hearts really just kind of made me upgrade stuff about my room. I was like, okay, blackout curtains and then, like, a new controller. Or so, something like that. But he, I looked up Sly Cooper just because I was curious. Okay. Yeah. I never, <laughs> I guess it makes sense because since he, he did rent it, but uh, it came out the same year. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it did. That's funny. Uh, and I, I still have not played the Sly they're Cooper good games, games man. Anymore. They're really good games. I, I love, I, I, I love know. Sly Cooper. And I respect your video game knowledge and integrity, but I'll, I might play them this year. I might play them this year. But it, I was just you don't so have a PS3, dude. Yeah, I do. You do? There's a Sly Cooper collection. Yeah, I can probably just buy them digitally for PS4 as well, because I don't want to lug that PS3 out and plug it up. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, that's pretty... So. Sounds like a bad experience, but uh, I played Kingdom Hearts 1, and I loved it, and obviously I was hooked. So I got, you know, I had a Game Boy, because, you know, I'm a gamer, so I played gamer. Chain of Memories. Yep. So I played Chain of Memories on there, and then I actually Wait, didn't beat you mean on the, Chain of Memories. You're talking about the Game Boy Advance game, right? Correct. Okay, yeah, okay, Chain okay. Of, okay. Key, Kingdom sure. Hearts... Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories originally came out for the Game Boy Advance, and I played it on there. I didn't beat it on the Game Boy, because if you know, it has a terrible card system that I loathe with a passion. That, and I that game's be, pretty, though, if I remember correctly. It, it, I do love the art style of that game, I just, and I love cards. I love trading cards. I love collectible cards. Dude, um, I'll let I you in on a secret. I've yeah. only ever beaten two of the Kingdom Hearts games, and I only beat them. I never beat the first one until like five, six years ago, and then I never beat the second Whoa. one until this year. Whoa! Are you serious? Mind blown. Yeah, I mean, you knew I hadn't beat the second one, didn't you? 
Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, I did. Because I remember I shamed you for it. I was like, "What?" So yeah, and then uh, uh, I I was gonna beat Birth by Sleep. This was this happened years ago. I might have told this story in the podcast before. I don't know. I had Gamefly on and off for several several years actually. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna story. get it. <laughs> and I was gonna buy it from uh, Gamefly because they had a big sale on it. It just didn't give it to me. <laughs> and I was like 15. I was like, ah, whatever. I don't care. I don't, yeah. I, I was, I didn't like, I don't, I guess I wasn't interested. I, I didn't care enough to actually look into it. So yeah, I, and my, one of my good friends, he knows I could not beat Vexen on Chain of Memories at all. Like I couldn't do it. He just like, I think it like triggered me so much. I just couldn't beat him at all. I keep, I just couldn't make the deck right. And it, I could, just couldn't get the combos right. And I couldn't I think I might it. still have too- that game around around my apartment somewhere. Yeah, I still I still have my copy of my save file, and I still haven't beat him on there. New but you know, and I was like, okay, whatever. I kind of get the story of uh, a Queen of Hearts, Chain of Memories. I understand it. I don't have to beat Vex, and it's cool. So, oh, that's that one. That's actually the second one. In uh, correct. In it order, is. unless I guess it's like some kind of prequel nonsense too, but. There as is. far as like the mainline Kingdom Hearts story, that's the second one in order, I think, I believe. Yeah. Uh that Skype just randomly popped up that picture I sent you in, <laughs> into the call. Oh, and the it kinda weird scared weird me. Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Uh so yeah, Kingdom Hearts two came out and I got the midnight release of it and played it and loved it. And I think I played it again, like right after I beat it. And then you know, obviously there was like that period where i didn't play kingdom hearts games you know where like you mean that period 3D- of time between 2007 and 2019 where there wasn't a, a mainline kingdom hearts game that's right you know uh the one for psp came out birth by sleep which i didn't play which is before kingdom hearts and then the one for the ds came out which i also didn't play th- there's uh, mo- there's like three ds ones yeah there's yeah there's that one uh, which is 365 over that whatever. game is a hot mess of confusion and yeah there's that there's uh there's recoded there's it was recoded is, on the on the it's ds recoded it's on it's on the original ds okay and recoded was originally only on japanese cell phones that's so weird this series yeah. is so weird it is weird and then there's that web series game that you could only play on that japanese website there's a web series game yeah, it's like a web game. That it's like is a Java. so yeah. weird. And then there's the mobile game, which also ties into all this nonsense as, as well. But Japan, obviously, you know, got it way before us. But we're, you know, we're just trying to tell you guys how many crazy Kingdom Hearts There's also there Dream Drop Distance. There. Oh, yeah, that one too. Yeah. So, you know, re you know, they started, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2 came out and they were like, okay, people aren't really buying all these systems to play our games so we got to re-release them so they they made what <laughs> they, they released these games re- so many times it's crazy they have so they did what they called re chain of memories and i was like sweet you know now i can play it upgraded graphics it looks cooler and i did beat Ch- re chain of memories or chain of memories re-released on the ps2 which was a very good it was an awesome experience it looked great you know it was done in the quote-unquote modern kingdom Hearts style And it was just kind of easier to play on a PS2 rather than, you know, a Game Boy SP. So that was a fun experience. And then, like I said, I haven't played any other Kingdom Hearts. Well, I did play the mobile game for like a couple months. And then I was like, yeah, I really don't like this game. I love Kingdom Hearts to death, but I do not want to play this game. So now I'm just waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3, which is coming out in like a couple days almost. So, and that's really it for my like history-ish with Kingdom Hearts, like it's well, been a love hate quick. relationship. Well, yeah, it's been like a it's been like a love hate relationship. Uh-huh. You know, you, like the fans are. You know, you, I was, had my friends were like, "Dude, that game's never coming out. Kingdom Hearts three is never coming out." And then I was like, "It's coming out." Kingdom Hearts three is then, like, coming out. They're, they like they'd be leaving way too much money on the table. Ex- exactly. You know, I'm like, I'm like, do you know how much money? And like, they're like, it's never coming out. You know, by like 2010. I was like, yeah, it's probably not coming out. And then they released well, something only, a couple years 2010 later. 2010 had only been a few years. I know. But, you know, people were thinking, you know, okay, Kingdom Hearts 2, boom, Kingdom Hearts 3. And they're like, surprise, Birth by Sleep. And we're like, okay, we're definitely going to get Kingdom Hearts 3 after this. And they're like, 365 days over 2. And you're like, okay, af- after this game, for sure, right? We're getting Kingdom Hearts 3. And then it's like, no, you get a mobile game. And it's like, okay, but after this, we're getting Kingdom Hearts 3, right? And they're like, no. And so it's just like all this waiting. 
Kingdom Hearts fans, they know patience. Like it's it's definitely a a thing. So, what what's your history? You kind of went over it a little bit, but like what initially made you want to play it? Because with me, it was the TV commercial that I saw. I think a friend told me about it, and I looked at yep. it, and I was like, oh, I like Disney, and Dragon Ball is cool. So, yeah, I'll buy it. I'll get okay. this. I believe nice. I got it for Christmas or something. I'm not sure. Or it might have been for my birthday. Yeah, it's definitely one of those games that's just like, yeah, we have Jump Force, and we have all the Super Smash Brothers, which are, you know, pen awesome fandoms, crossover games. But nowadays, if Disney wanted to come out and be like, Yo, Square Enix, we're going to make a game. They'd be like, no. Well, at least I think Disney would be like, no. I think Square Enix would be for it. But I think Disney would be like, no, you can't use our properties. Because, But, you know, back in 2002. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I think I Disney know, I likes like Disney, money. I think. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I think they like money. But I definitely think that back in 2002 that they could, uh, they were like, yeah, sure, we need some more money. Make this, you know, they, I guess they didn't. I kind of let. Out, I feel like they went out on a whim, or a, sorry, a limb, to make Kingdom Hearts, and then they were like, "Oh, people like this weeaboo mix up with Disney stuff. We're gonna make some more." And so now they're just like, "There's a huge fandom, and Disney's like, yeah, we can't not make this." So. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> I remember, man. I got something in my throat. Hold on, I'm gonna mute my mic. Okay. Well, while he mutes m- mutes his mic, I uh, cannot sorry. talk today. Good. He's back. I didn't have to talk long. Go ahead. <laughs> um, there, uh, I remember, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, I believe it's Kingdom Hearts 1 that this happened, and it's happened more than once. Um, so, uh, when you um, first start Kingdom Hearts and you do, you, you kind of walk around and get acclimated uh, a little bit. You get you have to choose between a sword, a shield, and a staff, depending on if you want to uh, focus on strength, defense, or magic. And mm-hmm. I remember, uh, especially, it happened to me a, a little bit, this, this, like the second time I played Kingdom Hearts. It's really weird. Uh, I was talking to uh, my roommate the other day. I have played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 like three times a piece, but I've only beaten them once each. Wow. It's super, super, super weird. Anyway, okay. so uh, you get to the screen where you got to choose where, uh, which one to specialize in. Mm-mm. And... <laughs> So you, um, you have to jump up on the, the platforms that have the, the sword, the shield, or the staff, like I talked about earlier. But it took me literally hours to figure this what? out. I what? did. Because I, I was walking up to him. I was like, I was trying to press X. I was like, just let me select one of these damn things. I can't. I, I, I was like, I can't figure this out. I, I could not figure out how to choose one. I had no idea you were supposed to jump up on it. Uh, up on the uh, the little platform. Huh. Okay. And it happened again, but it, it didn't take me that long before I figured it out. The, the, yeah. But when I was a kid, I had no, no idea how to how to do this. Dang. Okay. Well, that's that sucks. <laughs> it's man. such a I simple thought... thing, too. Yeah, it is. But um, I was like, I guess I was. I don't know. Like, there's no prompt to press X. There was no menu. Yeah, that's true. Was... There, yeah, yeah, there isn't a prompt. That's for sure. Mm. Uh, I guess well, it wasn't I that to, bad though, because I kept playing. Yeah, uh, let's see. I beat Kingdom Hearts one twice, and I've beaten Kingdom Hearts two twice. I've beaten Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories once, and like I said, I haven't played any other any of the others. But I've watched multiple multiple videos on the storyline of Kingdom Hearts. Do that. I've had a uh, like a two and a half hour, three hour video uh, yeah. uh, queued on my phone since like 2010. It was like, okay, when Kingdom Hearts uh, three is gonna, about to drop, I'm gonna. I'm going to watch this video so I can get it uh, caught up. I've watched that one twice, and then I watched a bunch of others, and I still don't understand it. <laughs> I even tried making notes with like with, with the wiki up, and I was like, okay, I'm going to understand this story. And all I can understand is that light will always win. That's that's the simplest And definition. cleanest. Uh, yes. Get it? Mm-hmm. Get it? That's right. <laughs> Crap. And uh, there's Final Fantasy Volleyball, which is really fun to do. Final Fantasy Volleyball? Yeah, in Destiny Island in the first Kingdom Hearts, you get to play Final Fantasy Volleyball with the two Final Fantasy characters that I can't remember their names. And... I do not remember that at all. Uh, oh, okay. When do you yeah. do that? So 
It's like the first little bit of Kingdom Hearts one where you like you're walking. He's like teaching you how to target things, and you got to play volleyball, and they, like it's like this little trial. And he teaches you how to play volleyball, and you never use it ever again in the game. But you get to play volleyball with Sora and these other Final Fantasy characters. You play volleyball. I'm actually let me look this up. Yeah, you never you don't remember that? I guess it is like it's been a long time since people it's been, it's played been years Kingdom Hearts since one. I've played it. So, but yeah, you get to do that, and I think there's like a jump rope challenge you too, about where you can where you have to hit it back with the keyblade. Yeah, I think so. I don't know yeah, why I, I thought you, you didn't have volleyball. Have... I I thought you used your hands. You might use a keyblade. I mean, no, you're more... talking about with Waka, right? Yeah, from uh, Final Fantasy the... Ten, I believe. Yeah, mm-hmm. the guy. I don't that think you has... play volleyball. Oh. Okay, you might hit it back with the keyblade. That makes more sense than putting down the keyblade and just having like beach time, summertime volleyball. Like, yeah, hit it back, Sora. Okay. Yeah, that it's just makes, teaching you uh, the mechanics of the game, I believe. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense than uh, hitting it with your bare hands. Okay. In my head, I was like playing Kingdom Hearts volleyball, like, which was actually kind of cool. But do you have a favorite keyblade? No, no, not really. Okay, I like the Halloween Town one. I guess that's one of my favorite ones. Um, okay, I don't know. I'm not a big Halloween Town fan though. I really like uh, the Oblivion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh. one of the ones that you have uh, during your. Uh, is it one of the ones you have during your like Valor form and stuff? Yes, I think so. I'm kind of rusty on all that, but I want to say yes. Sure, I'll say yes. Uh, you have a favorite character from Kingdom Hearts? I do. Uh, I don't know. I weirdly like Mickey because he's weirdly cool. Um, he is. He's like an edge lord. He's like a secret boss kind of a thing. Like he's like I want Mickey to be boss. the bad guy. Well, I'm just saying he's like running all the stuff like behind the scenes, and you're always trying to find him and figure out what's going on. I want Mickey to be the final boss in Kingdom Hearts three. That'd be awesome. No, he, you're out of your mind if you think that's gonna happen. He's like, actually, I've been evil this whole time. <laughs> Sora, uh, I can't do a Mickey voice. That was but, that was horrible. Yeah. I I know it's it? horrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna redo it. <laughs> okay. I really like Roxas. I don't know why. I think it's because like at the time I was like, Roxas is an edge lord. Roxas I like is, that. Roxas and Sora, Naruto and Sasuke. Ex- exactly. I really yeah. And I was like, Roxas is an edge lord. He wears a black coat. I like yeah. It. yeah. The darkness yeah. took over him. Yeah, he's, he has two keyblades. Sora's a little punk. He only has one keyblade. Oh, my bad. I, uh, what's, that's right. For some reason, I, I thought you said Riku. No, you said Roxas. Oh. And then I said Roxas. Roxas, yeah. Yeah, for some reason, I was thinking Riku. Yeah. No, Riku. Riku is, is Sasuke. Egg. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is. If you want to know the story of Kingdom Hearts, just watch Naruto. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Not really. It It won't make any sense. But, uh, yeah, Riku is definitely like Edge Lord Supreme, man. He's just like, I'll I let be my in the heart darkness. go to the darkness. He's like, I'll be so in the darkness. You wouldn't so have you don't to. have to, Sora. He's like, I love you. He's like, what? Nothing. I, he's like, <laughs> when he's like in the body of Ansem, <laughs> he's like, oh my God. he's like hugging Sora. <laughs> he's like this six foot five <laughs> tall man hugging this small child. It's funny. Dude, Ans- Ansem is so big. Like, He's huge. Uh, Ansem is one of the bad dudes, allegedly. Uh, it's really, it's really confusing. Really. It is. It really Riku. is. And then, and then you got Riku. Ansem the Wise. Yep. And then you got the Heartless, and the no- and the Nobody's just made it more confusing. Yeah, it did. Uh, but the easiest way is like Riku is like a vessel for like everybody. Everybody just be jumping on Riku's body and doing whatever they want with it. And, yeah, it's it just gets real confusing. Just know that people fight each other with keys, which are swords. <laughs> but, yeah. I, yeah. Are you, it's like, are you, are you... I think I've thought about this a lot. I mean, in jest, obviously, but... Are you, are you beating these things to death? Because a lot of these keyblades don't look very sharp. They look like <laughs> steel girders. Oh, yeah, de- definitely. I definitely think you're just hitting... I mean... Because if you think about it, they never turn turn them around where the pointy side is. They're always hitting them with like the met the, the big round the metal, side. like the master blade, master keyblade. 
is yeah. it like there's no sharp there's no edges on it no not at all um and it's just i mean the alt the ultimate weapon it has like a sword oh did you uh just, did, we can talk about that did you uh what, what did you think about like uh the uh i guess systems and stuff like the rpgs I, so, compared to the combat and, and that kind of stuff okay so i'm the only kingdom hearts player that loves the gummy system the gummy ships. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Wait. I swear. Me and uh, and Jake were talking about this. We're texting Jordan. And he's like, talk, we talk, We were complaining about the uh, the gummy ships, and she was like, I like the gummy ships. Of, of course you do. Of, I do. I love it so much. You get to make your own little ship, and it's like Space Invaders, and you get to like. Put, it's horrible. It's like, it's super fun. I love What's it. What's fun about just, it? Oh, is it fun when you go through this twenty five minute? level and then you die halfway through and you're like oh well, i guess i gotta do that again i would i would go from place to place i would load up the game sometimes and just do gummy ship stuff are you serious you're a psychopath <laughs> i loved it it was so much oh fun. my like, gosh i'm gonna talk to jake I, about that he's gonna kill you <laughs> i really enjoy the creative you, the you, creativity of the there's gum, no creativity the you can't do anything with it it's like hey attached to square to this triangle it's. I liked it at the time. You're. I mean. You're. Oh my gosh. You, <laughs> let me. Okay. I, I need to confirm this. You said you would okay. turn the game on just to play gummy shit mode. Everyone. If after I beat the game, yeah. Why? It was fun to me at the time. Just, now I might not do it in oh Kingdom Hearts three, gosh. but I mean. Oh my gosh. It was enjoyable. Gosh, that's insane. I mean, I guess I. I <laughs> Like the bat. That's, oh my gosh! I okay. I mean, it was it was cool to like level up the ship's armor and the power and the shields and you know the turbo and stuff. It, it was cool. What about the I level? What about the the uh, the actual flying levels? The levels of the gummy ship. Yeah, I liked those. You talking about like where you get to go through the circles and get the points and kill the stuff? I wouldn't say get to. I would. I would. I would say forced to. Would probably be. Yeah, I get. I. I mean, yeah, I guess it is. Uh, I mean, like. It was cool, especially with the gummy system in Kingdom Hearts 2, man. You could do so much other stuff. The blasters, you know, had, like, different elements you could shoot now, and, like... No, I didn't know any of that. I just equipped the newest <laughs> one and, and flew through. Oh, okay. It's Were bad like... Star Fox mixed with Spore. Oh, dude, I really love Spore. Oh, my like... gosh, of course you love Spore! <laughs> I put a lot of hours this in is, Spore. This is a man whose game of the year... <laughs> Was we happy few, ladies and gentlemen? Hey man, there, there's nothing wrong with we happy few, man. There's nothing wrong with that game. Gosh. It's a good game. Oh my. Okay. What about? <laughs> uh, Did you? I mean, it's what? even it's cool. Sid and Mickey had gummy ships, but we never saw them yet. So maybe we'll see them in Kingdom Hearts Three. I hope there is like as little. What about Winnie the Pooh? Did you like <laughs> Winnie the Pooh? God no. Okay, good. If you like the, the Winnie the Pooh <laughs> section and the gummy ship section. <laughs> I I would probably have to end the podcast right now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, no, I didn't like the Winnie the Pooh section. I was like, "This is cool." I mean, I like Winnie the Pooh. I don't like this level. I'd rather sort of just sit down and be like, "Winnie, I need your help. We gotta go kill some people." And he's like, "Okay, I'll help you." I used to live this life, but not anymore. But I'll help you, Sora, because I love. <laughs> so you. Winnie the Pooh was like <laughs> a, a thug in a past life. Yeah, I'd be so down with that. <laughs> That would be you know, amazing. He's like, he's like waterboarding people Jeez. with honey, and they like choke on it. But anyway, that's like a different, you know, uh, different topic for a different day. You know, they can make good mini games. They just, it's like they put zero effort into it. I mean, they definitely did. I'm not saying that the gummy ships were good by far. I'm just saying that I personally enjoyed them, and I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that has. So what you're saying is that Winnie the Pooh oh, is objectively bad. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Winnie the Pooh should. It should have just been a cutscene or like a little. I, just, I think they it, could it have made good mini games. They just didn't. Yeah, it could have been way better, but it also could have been just not in the game, and I would have been fine. Like it didn't add anything to the game, in my opinion. For those of it you just kind of wondering if this is going to be in Kingdom Hearts three, it's definitely going to be in Kingdom Hearts three. Oh yeah, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, and Gummy like, Ships. Yeah, a hundred percent. But uh, what were you asking before we went down this Gummy Ship hole? Uh you. oh! What about the other elements, like the fighting and the actual RPG so I, elements? 
so I like I like both. Uh, I will say that if there's any, hang on, let me take a swig of water. Okay. If there's any elements of cards in Kingdom Hearts three, I will throw. I don't them. think there's gonna be any cards. I, I don't think not. you have to worry about that. <laughs> that's uh, one thing I don't. That's one thing I don't like about Birth by Sleep. I've been playing that. Um, I don't. I, I don't like the. It's like a. It's like a half baked deck system. I almost wish they would have gone fully baked. You know. I mean, it's not a exactly. bad game. I just I don't know. I might play it. I don't know. Anyway, continue, continue. I I like the I like the combat. I like. I definitely, I hope that it has Kingdom Hearts 2 style combat, and that that's it. You know, not not any of this card stuff, not any of the half card stuff. Just like, this is your target. Go beat them to death with this piece of metal. Like, you know, that's what I want. Um, Sometimes use sure. magic. It, yeah, exactly. Sometimes use some magic. I might do a full magic build on Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't know yet. I do Apparently, like uh, power-ups. Aqua- which is a character, if y'all don't know, from some of the Kingdom Hearts games. She's in a lot of the prequels. Apparently, she's mm-hmm. really good with magic. Yeah, she is. Um, I definitely like I like everything that I've seen for Kingdom Hearts 3 so far, though. I feel like they're going to do it justice. And me justice is someone that's waited a very long time to play this. Yeah, yeah. We could we should talk about Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, in, in depth a little bit here. Um, but first, uh, what did you... Uh, oh, um, I'm absolutely butchering this but when i was a kid uh, i didn't really go that deep that deep into the rpg systems but uh recently beating king Hearts 2 i i actually uh you know was it was like equipped looked at the ap and stuff um did you ever get too deep into that stuff yes i can't remember like in detail what i did but i did i do remember that i kept in mind like what i was like is this better than that? I looked at stats and different stuff like that, you know. But I did always use whatever keyblade I wanted because all the keyblades do have different stats, even though some of them are better than others. I was just like, well, I like the way this one looks better, uh, so I'm just gonna use this one. Or if I was in a different, if I was in a certain world, I would just switch to that keyblade, you know, like the jungle key for Tarzan, or you know, the Halloween key for um, the Halloween world, or number for Christmas, whatever you want to call it. So. But different stuff like that. I didn't. I never got into like, I guess leveling up the keyblades sort of a thing. You know, like upgrading them. I think you can. And doing. I don't think you can do that. Really? Yeah. No, you can't. You can't. You can upgrade yourself with, uh, like that's AP right. and stuff. That's that's one thing I didn't uh, pay too much attention to the first time I played. Were the uh, the AP points that you get for defeating bosses and you find the chests and stuff that let you, uh, yeah. upgrade like your abilities. I guess that's what that stands for, ability points. Uh, I, and I remember giving like the, all of it to Sora, but this time I gave a lot to Donald. And, not a lot, but I gave yeah, way I more to should. Donald and Goofy, which definitely made the game easier. Um, I World of Goofy is have a hatred so for good. Donald because one in Kingdom Hearts one, Donald would never heal you, never ever. I don't care what anybody says, he'd never heal no, me. No, that's why you always, that's why you always keep Goofy in your party and take Donald out. Yeah, I've, I've realized that my second playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 1. I was like, screw you, Donald. I can heal myself. Like, and you gotta, you gotta remember to, to give them potions, too. They'll heal you more if, yeah. if they have potions. That's true. Uh, so, it's after a while, like, Donald, you were useless. Um, and then, you know, I was finally like, okay, Donald. Like, we're fighting. Uh, that's one thing that I hated the most. Like, it's like, Donald, we're fighting an ice enemy. Like, don't use ice. Doesn't do anything to him. He'd be like, "You gotta teach ice. him all those Thundaga attacks." Yeah, it's just like Blizzard Aga. I'm like, Donald, no, don't do that. Blizzard Aga. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm bit, <clears throat> yeah. that was a horrible Donald impersonation. <laughs> well, you've learned that we're not good at impersonations of Disney characters currently. Uh, Speak for yeah, yourself. I, just, I hate Donald a Is that lot. Good? Like, Is that he, good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice, nice, pretty good. Probably it's probably horrible. Uh. I, yeah, I hate Donald with a passion, but I definitely I want to see what they're gonna do with Kingdom Hearts three. I like that the organization is kind of back. That's interesting. Um, I want to see what's. I really like all the organization weapons. Like those are. Oh really yeah, they're cool. so cool. So, like I I want more of Organization thirteen, but I want how it many of them are like, like, like uh, I mean I guess we could uh, there there might be some spoilers uh, to um. So just watch out. We'll try to. Uh, I guess we'll try to. Uh, I mean, it's we're forty five minutes in, but 
Um, there are, some of the organization members do uh, die, or something happens to them. It looks like they die. Yeah, but the I, I think there, it's only only one left at the end of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, there might be not be any left. Although I think um, the organization will definitely be in Kingdom Hearts three, or at least I imagine they would be. So in Kingdom Hearts three, there's one, two, three, three. Three or three or four organization members that are still quote unquote evil, and they could and be, and they could be new members, I guess. Yeah, there could be new members, uh, but I know there's four of the original that are still there, and then one that is like good now, and then you know obviously Roxas, that's inside of Sora, and then Shion that's inside of Roxas. So wait, it's, what? Yeah, it's it's real confusing. Okay, so. I guess spoilers here for just a few seconds. Uh, Roxas, who is Sora's nobody, when Sora has stabbed, hit, has yeah, Sora has a nobody. Ahead. Yes, that's yeah. That, we'll just keep, yeah, we'll keep it simple. I was gonna be like, well, when this happened, that's when Roxas was made. We can just keep it simple and be like, Roxas is Sora's nobody, and it's yeah. So Roxas has a nobody. I want to say yes, but let me click on her Wikipedia that is page. To so confusing. And then there's a guy okay, named Bentis so, who's in Birth by Sleep, and I don't know. I can't spoil it because I don't know exactly what he is, but he looks exactly like Roxas, and he also has Roxas. It's the same voice actor. Okay, so Zion, Shion. Who is Shion? So Shion is the fourteenth member of Organization Thirteen. That doesn't make any sense. Exactly. She was. She first appeared in the Kingdom Hearts three fifty eight over two days. Oh, that's that black hair yeah. hair girl. Yes. Okay. Yeah. She's, she's a, like. Uh, she's a nobody. She, is she? And no, she's not Kyrie's because. No, she was created to be like a a replica of Roxas. Oh, okay. So, but she, you know, obviously when they're using Roxas to create her, she got some of Sora's memories because, you know, she, uh, what is it? She took them from Roxas, sort of a thing. So, she, obviously, she can wield a Keyblade. This is the most I, confusing franchise. I love this franchise, but Ma, they have made it so confusing. And I, I can't go any more into that because I, I can't explain any more without confusing myself, you, and everybody else listening. But if you want to know about more about Xion, watch. Just go to YouTube. Type in Xion, X I O N, fourteenth member of Organization Is it Thirteen. Zion? Or it's yeah, it's Z I O N X. Yeah, I like it's, or not yeah. Zion. Uh, Sorry, X I O N X. X I like all yeah. of Zion. Yeah, Zion. Uh, so and that's it's hard to describe her because there's this with her it interwines with it, so many other people. And the Kingdom Hearts story, so it's uh, yeah. But she is interesting. It was a big outroar kind of a thing when it was like the fourteenth member of Organization Thirteen. That's not right. We're not going to call it Organization Fourteen. That sounds stupid. So it, you know, who knows? She's There's like the third stuff member of the of Axis. She hangs out with Axel and uh, Roxas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's yeah. It, it gets real confusing with replicas and. Clones and different stuff like that in Kingdom Hearts. So it's uh, and as my roommate starts Kingdom to Heart- take a shower. I mean, you, he got to get clean, man. He's got to get. You know, it's eleven o'clock. Clean. That man should have already taken a shower. I mean, that's a good point too. That is a good point. <laughs> you know, he sh- you maybe get get him an alarm clock. <laughs> you know, so get him an alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> I think he already has a phone. But uh, yeah, uh, um, yeah. Talk about Kingdom Hearts three for a little bit here. In my okay. in my. Uh, my the thing I want them to get right the most is is the combat. Um, Same. I want it to be like Kingdom Hearts, but more probably probably more action RPG. You know, like more actiony, I guess. More hack and okay. slashy. So from what we've seen, how do you feel about Sora's Keyblade transformations? Like the you know, big guns the, and stuff. Like the big guns and the teapot. The, like oh the, yeah, I oh guess, those, yeah, those are those are you, two different things, I believe. Those. That's like the uh, the Disney rides. Uh, you're talking about like the teapots and the uh, yeah. That, those are awesome. I love how, those. 
Me too. I like those as well. How do you feel about when Sora's Keyblades transform into like guns or the bow and arrow or different stuff like I that? I think it's cool. Um, I think it's um, super over the top, and I like that in like you know hack and slashy games. I'm on the Kingdom Hearts uh, three Reddit, and I forgot that Sora could do this in this game, but it's like gameplay bullet point. Sora will be able to run up walls. Oh, dude, yeah, that looks cool. He can only do it uh, into certain walls, I believe, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that'd be cool. Uh, I like the, what is it, Blizzard. And I, I like all the magic, you know. Like, that's it's really cool to be able to incorporate magic with the combos you do and different stuff like that. So it will, I, it, I'm super hyped for this game. I'm like, oh, yeah. to the point, I'm like to the point of like, well, you're just calm because you like you're calm and you're happy and you're excited, but you're just like trying to be chill about it, or you're trying to maintain yourself, but you're like it's just you're like flabbergasted yourself that you're gonna get to play this game. Yeah. Like that's like that's the level of excitement. Uh, how do you? What's your favorite? What's your most anticipated? Or what's what's the world in Kingdom Hearts three that you're most excited to play and see? Uh, Toy Story. Really, yeah. I'm I'm pretty excited for Big Hero Six. Really, okay. I never I never seen that movie, but just Toy Story is such a big part of my childhood. Is it just because yeah. of the movie, or did you read the comic books, or what? So I liked the comic books. I really enjoyed the movie, and I really liked the artist. Uh, so I just I like everything about that project that they did. The voice actors were great. The mu the movie was phenomenal. Uh, I am, it is going to be really sweet to see Story Story because, like Ryan, I really do enjoy Story Story, and I it is a big part. I of I mean, childhood. he's a toy. He's a, I'm looking at a picture of him. He's a toy. They're toys in this world. It it does look really cool. Oh my cool. gosh, um, it looks he looks like an action figure. So if you pre-ordered this game and you got like the three hundred dollar bundle or whatever it was from Square Enix, you could get uh, Sora, Donald, and Goofy in Toy Story form, which I almost did, but I decided against it because I was like, eh, no, I don't like I don't need Sora as a toy. Like already, you I mean, know, if I want that, I, I just go the, and buy it. Yeah, you know, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, I, you know, I wish, I honestly wish that the Xbox people had the final mixes. I'm surprised they Xbox. haven't released them because they can make a lot I, I of know. money. They and could. It, it'd be, know, and they would, it would cost them like nothing. Huh? Exactly. Um, it really wouldn't because, and everyone's like, how do you, how do you feel as a hardcore Kingdom Hearts fan? And I'm like, well, you know, guys, I, I love gaming and I feel that everybody should be able to game on whatever they want and it'd be a good experience so i'm fine that kingdom hearts 3 is coming out on xbox one like i'm i'm cool with no that. it should be only on i mean honestly it doesn't really bother me um i mean it a, a small part me, of like, me is like dang that, that was a you know that was something that we got because we were loyal fans but at the same time i am glad that because my roommate doesn't have a playstation 4 but he's a huge kingdom hearts yeah. fan he bought exactly. an xbox one because he made a mistake but he's still going to be able to play uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, which is nice. Uh, but, you know, and it would have been fine if they would have just done, if they hadn't jumped to the Nintendo to the Nintendo ship, you know, but they were like, hey, these Kingdom Hearts games are only going to come out on <laughs> on uh, Nintendo products. Yeah, they, it, they started coming out on uh, PSP, which I guess is still uh, Sony, but, but they also came out on the Game Boy Advance and the DS and the 3DS and just mm -hmm. all kind of, and mobile yeah, and then once it got to there, you're just like, well, what's what's happening? Like, you know, and we had all these fans that were like, well, I gotta buy a new system to play this game. So, are there uh, uh, yeah anything like, anything that you want that you, that hasn't been confirmed? Mm -mm. No. Any any uh, any worlds that you think could be cool that that, that they haven't shown? Ooh, uh, I think the let's see, Wreck-It Ralph's in the game. I like Wreck-It Ralph. I, you know, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I enjoy the franchise, but I think Sora with like a Keyblade lightsaber kind of a thing. I think a Star Wars world would be cool. I would like to see the yeah. uh, like uh, like the Star Wars uh, animated series or something. That yeah. could be cool. Yeah, it doesn't need to be live action. I mean, heaven forbid they do something like they did with that Pirates are, of the Caribbean. They're doing world. that again. I know, but it might be better. I mean, it probably will be better. <laughs> I mean, you. I can. And I know you. you uh, I mean, you're excited because uh, there's a uh, the world ends with you. I think it might be in there again. I yeah, I think it. I think it is coming back. I like that. Like I said, I enjoy that they have uh, San Francisco, which is the Big Hero Six world, 
I hate that they have hundred acre wood. And I'm kind of part of me is kind of glad because I I don't. But I guess it's, just because it, it's it is, something that was already in there. But yeah, you know, I do like that they are gonna have uh, Arendelle, which is the f- frozen world. I like that they're gonna have whatever Tangle's world is, which is kind of. I need cool. to see that movie. I've heard it's really good. It it's enjoyable. I like it. It's uh, so it'd be cool to see maybe if there was just like a Disney world, you know, like a Disney theme park world kind of if Sora like went into I don't know who knows that'd be interesting if they did something like that uh, I don't I kind of want to think there's a there's a world that they haven't announced yet that people are just going to load up the game and it's going to pop up oh yeah I would, so. I would assume that there is probably some worlds that they haven't uh, announced that are in there so I would I would hope that the there are obviously you know I'd hope things I won't add Final to Fantasy 15 I'd hope That'd be cool. That'd actually be really yeah, I wouldn't cool. be surprised really cool. to see, like, Noctis or somebody in there. Ooh, that'd be cool. A Final Fantasy world. Ooh, that'd be awesome. That'd be real cool. So, uh, things I want in the game that haven't been announced yet, I really would enjoy... Um, oh, that, is that Rose guy in there? The pink-haired Organization 13 member? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean... Because you yeah, defeated him, but that was during the dream... During uh, Kingdom Correct. Hearts, uh, what's it called? The Chain card game one, which didn't actually happen, I don't think. Chain of Memories, Chain of yeah, Memories is all... like a dream, a big old dream, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all in Sora's head. He's like sleeping. It's like you're running through his memories, and the organization members are trying to make sure, you know. It's, it's weird. It's weird. This whole <laughs> so, series is weird, but continue, sorry. It is weird. Uh, yeah, so I, things I want in the game that haven't been announced yet, I... I really want a, uh, I'd like to have a, so you're going to hate me for this. I want there to be a gummy ship boss battle. <sighs> I know, I know you're, you're not happy with that. Yeah, but that'd be, I, I would like that. Or, I okay. I would almost that? like them to actually flesh out the gummy ships and make them actually good. I think they're going to this time, you know, fingers crossed, hopefully, yeah, it, hopefully it's good, so, that'd be great, but honestly, like, the fact that this game is coming out, I honestly can't list off things that I want in this game, because it's, it already has most of the stuff that I want in it, like, I can't, I think stuff that I want, that I don't know I want, I'll realize that I want, when it like magically appears in the game, if that sentence makes any sense at all. Um, so I'm looking up the. So, I'm, I'm interested in the voice cast of Kingdom Hearts Three. Okay, I wonder who's. Uh, I wonder if they still have all the same voice actors. I don't they think should. they do. I mean, really? Because I think. Uh, I think I know. Th- I know that the whoever does. Uh, what's his name? Fred. Yeah, whoever does Fred's voice. On Scooby Doo, not Fred. No, uh, in Big Hero Six, uh-huh. who whoever does one of their voices, it's not the same as what it is in. Yeah, whoever does Wasabi's voice isn't the same as the movie voice, but everybody else from the movie is exactly the same. That's who's voicing them in Kingdom Hearts Three, which is kind of cool. It's got they have a Zachary Levi. Um, okay. Um, Josh Gad and Kristen Bell. I don't. I wonder if the because um I think it said some of Hayden well, Panettiere used to be in, in here, but I don't see her. So it looks well, like they might be different. Um, it doesn't bother me that much, though, honestly. No, I'm sure everybody will do a wonderful job. It will. Uh, I'm. I want. I can't wait to see the summoning aspects of you know when Sora summons different party members to help him in battle. I. I just want to play this game. I need to go put some money down on it so I can just, you know, walk into the GameStop and be like, hey, give me this game. So, but uh, I'm super excited for this game. I cannot wait to play it. It is, I'm, I'm like, man, I'm ready. Yeah, I know. Talking about it like this makes me even, like, more excited for it. And hopefully, oh, one thing that I do want is uh, I want to be able to understand the story after Kingdom Hearts 3. And I hope... Do you think this will be the, the last one? Ki- Honestly, probably not. Obviously, it's 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 a fifty fifty chance. Like 
yes, me as a fan, I, 50% yes, I want it to end. Because I'm hopefully I'll be satisfied with the way people's stories are wrapped up at the end of this game. But the other part of me is I want to continue this, but I don't want it to become like, you know, beat a dead horse kind of a thing. I don't want it to be dragged out and, you know, become like a terrible series, you know, where it's just like, here's a spinoff game where you get to play as, you know, I don't know, goofy. And, you know, that's the whole game sort of a thing. So I, I, part of me wants this to be the last game, wants it to be wrapped up and then just have them do, you know, like short little mini series. Like here's a 30 minute video for, you know, once a month or something like that, telling different stories or something. That'd be cool. But I mean, uh, unlike Final Fantasy, you know, this is kind of one cohesive story. So I don't think it would work to just continue it on for, I mean, it's already been going on for 17 forever. years, but there's only been this will only be the third main title, so exactly. So, I I don't think, in my opinion, there doesn't need to be a Kingdom Hearts 4, and there doesn't need to be another spin off game because I think they're hopefully that they'll do a really good job of making the story simple and under digestible for people. Because if anyone's just walking into this game, haven't played, doesn't know anything about Kingdom Hearts. It's gonna be very confusing. Like it will, it will not make sense at all. It'll still probably be an enjoyable experience, but it will definitely be a mind smoothie of information. Trying to figure out, you know, who's what, what's going on. Et cetera, okay, so uh, like that. sorry to interrupt. What'd you find? Um, out? the main thing I was wondering uh, when I was looking at the voice cast was, hey, uh, Haley Joel Osment, who played uh, Sora. It looks like he will be returning. Thank goodness. Okay, because you know that one does. That one does kind of matter. You know, that's like a set in stone. Got to have that person sort of thing. Uh, I think it's cool. I think they're. I think they're gonna go some cool directions with this game. Uh, I can't wait to see how many hours it takes to beat and what the extra features are and different stuff like that. But I don't know. I've been thinking about it as I've been discussing this and and yeah i know i just said i wish there was a 50 50 chance but i think definitively i do wish this is i i want this to be the last game i want it to be over and done do you think it will be no no i don't i i think disney i i feel like square enix has more heart in it than disney i feel that disney just sees it as a cash cow i don't think disney cares yeah no no i'm I'm talking about they don't care about any no, of it. No, it's something that, okay. It's not, they're not making as much, like that much money off of it. I mean, they're making a lot of money, but to them, you know, it's gotcha. it's a bigger deal to, to deal, much, millions of times bigger deal to Square. Like, uh, of course, yes. I say so, not exaggerating at all. That Yeah, I 100% agree with that statement because it's definitely, Disney has so their hands in so many other honeypots, so to speak, that they just, you know, they're not going to worry about how much money they're making off Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I mean, Hearts. they like, like the, the money. They like that extra money. Yeah, they, they like they, that. They like it. It gives them, a, you know, a, even more fans, but it's exactly. not that you know, big but a it's, deal to them. Exactly. It's not like I we're going to see Kingdom Hearts. I think it's in Square's court, basically. Exactly. This is not going to uh, be I definitely like, don't think we're going to You know, billion dollars making the Kingdom Hearts game. I don't think. Exactly. And we're not going to see a Kingdom Hearts section of Disney World or Disneyland anytime soon either or ever. <laughs> Honestly, so even though that'd be really awesome, apparently uh, but, they've done that a couple times. But um, it was like I heard of an event that was like employees only. They were having something, and they had like some Kingdom Hearts uh, stuff. I think now that I now that you say that, I think I've seen someone play. Never mind. That was a, never mind. It was a Toy Story game that kind of reminded me of a Kingdom Hearts thing. But okay, no, it wasn't. But anyway, it's uh, yeah. I, I want this to be the last game. I don't think it will be the last game. But I feel like it needs to be the last game. Because it's just... The story... After a while, the story is just going to be like... So stretched apart that it's just going to look like... Like really old cheese spray that comes out of a can. You know, like it's just going to be all like crusty and like falling apart. And not delicious anymore. It's just going to be like... Ugh. So I definitely think that it needs to just, you know, pump the brakes on Kingdom Hearts. What do you think? Uh, I kind of agree. It's, it's like I kind of don't want it to end, but it needs to. 
You know, kind of like in a. Okay, I feel like this movie would have been. I don't want this person to die in this movie, but it would have been better if they did. Exactly. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited about this game. We're both excited about this game. Uh, tell us um, your thoughts on it. What you want, what you don't want. Uh, if you're excited, if it's your first Kingdom Hearts game, just uh, let us know. Good job. Wonderful, wonderful. As always, our outro song, because Ryan so graciously did our intro song, our outro song is going to be 8-Bit Passion. You by better not. <laughs> you better. <laughs> do not. No. That's, you better not do uh, that. <laughs> Crap. My pop filter is broken again. We also produce a wonderful news show called One Up My News that comes out on Mondays. It has its own separate RSS feed. You can just go to your favorite podcatcher and type in One Up My News or you can just check the description below and all the links are going to be there for your wonderful self to listen to. You can follow the podcast on Twitter at One Me Podcast. Just how, how often you use uh, wonderful? News. Yeah. Okay. Just, I did. Just thought I had. Yeah. You can, uh, you can follow Ryan on Twitter at Ryan Divisions. You can follow me on Twitter at Aswaylock. Uh, all of our other social media are going to be in the description as always. We have an Instagram that's one at me gaming at, you know, at one at me gaming on Instagram. We have an email. You're more than welcome to email us there. Anything you want us to cover, questions, comments, etc. for the show, as long as it's safe for work, it is. Our email is one at me podcast at gmail.com with a Patreon where we'd love to have your support and join the community over there. It's patreon.com slash one at me. If you choose to support us on there, we Really do appreciate in helping us further this adventure and funding us towards making better products or better entertainment for you guys and better podcasts. Uh, what you would get is you'd get to listen to the shows early based on the tier you get. You would also could get articles early if you pledge a certain amount of money. And you also get a Patreon-exclusive podcast. This month we were kind of discussing DCEU. Uh, so, you know, you got to become a Patreon to figure out if we're going to do that or not. And that's the only place those podcasts will ever live forever and ever. Game on. We also have a Amazon affiliate link. You're more than welcome to use that if you shop on Amazon. It gives us a little kickback. That'd be useful. Uh, for everything one at me, you can check out our website, one at me uh, If there's anything else we, you want us to cover or anything, you can just add us on Twitter. Use the hashtag, play on the hashtag, uh, ask one at me. And we have a Discord. Also, it's going to be in the description. You're more than welcome to join us on any of these communities at all. We appreciate your feedback. We would love a review on iTunes. Just let us know what you like about the podcast. Tell your friends. Tell your grandma. Tell your uncle, your niece, your teacher at school, and everybody. We appreciate you. Thank you for listening. As always, play on. Next week, something else. <laughs>